Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. I just uh, saw this uh, message from Muslims. And I don't check those messages always, like uh, I mean, uh, comments, a lot of them. But uh, you know, we will cover this comment from this uh, Muslim or Muslim, I'm not sure, Hikmah. It can be a name of a female or male. Uh, uh, take a bath and brush your teeth before meeting your mom. Uh, I just I want to ask you first, do you want me to take a bath in Bi'ri Bida, because you're a prophet used to take a bath in a water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and stink. I will go back to that. As long as you are talking about your mouth stink. Every heard Benihin, a fake faith healer, city. I don't, I'm not a follower of anyone. I follow Jesus. And as long as you are talking about faith healer, isn't it the Quran you have? It says that Jesus make the blind see. Isn't it your Quran says that Jesus he resurrect people from death? Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus he can heal any disease, even the leper? So who is this stupid here? And how come your prophet cannot heal anyone? According to you Muslims, your children, the children of Muhammad, they die and Muhammad was crying like a puppet. His prayer is not answered. His son die as you claim. I don't believe Muhammad can have even babies. I believe he is an impotent man. But this is what your Muslim says that he have children, they die. So why he did not heal them? Why his God did not help him? So Jesus, he raised people from death. Jesus, uh, uh, he can make the blind see. He just he can't do anything. This is this is this is the one I follow. And anyone else, it's possible that he can do miracle in the name of Jesus. For Jesus' name is very powerful, not because he is he is a good person. I mean, this guy Benihin. This is the power of Jesus. If what he do is true, but I never witness him. I do not know. He might be a scam like your prophet. It's possible. Now, now tell me, in the hell you think below verse talking about your God? Yes, it's talking about my God. Then he is who create is like the one who don't create. Thank you for mentioning this because this is a verse about my God. In your Quran, it says that Jesus created from the mother bird. Is that true? So I do not need now to debate you about if Jesus can create or not. Now, if there is any proof that your God can create anything, if there is any proof, or just a statement of somebody saying your God can create. And as long your God Allah himself is saying, is he who create is the same as the one who create not? So I wanna, show, I wanna ask you, dumb Muslims, how you say Muhammad is the best of mankind if the Quran says, is the one who create is the same as the one who create not? Did Muhammad create anything? So how you say that he is better than Jesus? If we go in the Quran, we will see the following. It says, this is supposedly Jesus talking. Let us uh, make the pages smaller so we can get all the text. All right, that's better. Chapter 3, verse number 49. And this is your Muslim translation. I'm not going even to translate. Are you happy? All right. So Jesus is a messenger for the children of Israel. <laughs> How he is a messenger for the children of Israel and the stupid Quran called the book of Jesus in jail. In jail is a Greek word. Why? The Jews they used to speak a Greek. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah he sent a messenger to his people to speak in the tongue of his people? That because Muhammad he came six centuries after Jesus and he was using the most popular word the Christians use. So he is a fake prophet. We continue. Jesus said, read carefully, I came to you with signs from your Lord. Now you will say this is a sign from Allah. Okay, well, <laughs> prove it that is from Allah. This is your statement. Then it says, in that I make for you. He didn't say Allah he make for you. He said I. You see, a sign from God, I cannot say I. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> when I say I, it's mean I. I make for you out of the clay it wear the figure of a bird and breathe into it and become a bird 
by Allah leaves. You will say to me, it says by Allah leaves. No, this is the Quran saying, it's Muhammad saying that. However, if it is by Allah leave or not, will not make any difference because here we go, I am making videos to make Muhammad look like an idiot. Is that by Allah leave or not? Can you answer? So the leave of Allah will not make any difference. By his leave, by without his leave, it doesn't make any difference. Same time, as you see here, it says, and I breathe into it. Who is the one who breathed? Who is the one who breathed into the figure of, of a clay? Jesus. That means the power of life is coming from Jesus. How Allah supposedly created Adam according to your funny Quran? He is copying the Bible. Right? And what he did? He breathed into the figure of the clay. This is exactly what Jesus can do. So you quote for me ever saying, is the one who create is equal to the one who create not? I agree. The one who create not is not to follow. So now both of us, we have a proof that Jesus is a creator. He create, but there's no proof that Allah can create anything. Do you have a proof? Provide your proof. Now, I do not need to prove to you that Jesus is a creator because he is in mission in the Quran. All right? Is he the one who create is the same as the one who create not? So the Quran is saying clearly that the one who create is the one you should worship. So how Allah, if you, Muslim, says that this is a power Allah gave to Jesus, how he gave him a power to make him a creator, which means you can worship him right now. What is the point of this verse? Is to worship only the one who create. Because those people, they are worshipping things. They create nothing. So if you can find something, can create something, that means that's, that person is a person to follow and to believe in and to worship. This is why your funny God in the Quran that said that, you know, uh, you want to worship someone, he can't even create a fly. Huh? And this is the, the verse in the front of you, chapter 22, verse number 73. So if you can create a fly according to Quran, you are qualified to be called the creator and to be worshipped as God. Who is the one saying that? You're God. Hmm? They cannot create a fly. Can Jesus create a bird? Not a fly, bird. Yes. Who witnessed for that? The Quran. So it's very stupid statement to say to me what you said. And speaking about, uh, I saw you speaking about with a fire. I mean, the Muslim woman is speaking about with a fire. Yeah. What? I mean, you are the last one should mention this. Isn't it your prophet is the first and the most well-known with a file ever? Not only he had sexual relationship with a child, but he promised you in the heaven that you will you will have a naked boys. Wool man. Wool man. Ah, wool man. It's coming from the word wool man. What does that mean? They are horny boys. They are in the age of uh, sexual urge. You know, they are like youth, young. Huh? Who is the one who promised in the heaven? Why, why you need those wool man? You tell me. وَيَطُوفُ عَلَيْهُمْ wool man كَأَنَّهُمْ لُؤْمُ مَكْمُونَ Those boys not only <laughs> they are boys they are very sexy why you will tell me servant that's a lie because you muslims i can show you tons of hadith muhammad said if a muslim he wished to have something is going to be in the front of him right away allah will put it in front of him just by wishing you, you, you do not need to make any action there. just you look at the bird in the sky you see him you say subhanallah the bird will be barbecued and cooked in the front of you before you you know you you blink your eye so what the what the servants for? Huh? There's no servants. Do you see them? Pretty, pretty boys. Uh, be the file. And how many of them? Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand little boys in your room. Why? What you would do with them? You tell me. They will make for you eighty uh, thousand sandwich of falafel. Huh? Or they will give the Abdul eighty thousand orgasm. And even the Quran says that they will never bleed. I mean, they will bleed from war. So, Balbula, Hikmah, everything you said is against you, and you Muslims are suffering from mental problems. 
God who provides you boys. This is the God of slavery, even in heaven. You see, uh, you Muslims, you say, oh, the white man, he did the slavery. The white man was buying the slaves from the African, uh, uh, the, the Arab uh, in North Africa. They are the Muslims. They are the one who kidnap the black people and sell them to the Arab, to the, to the European. And now we see another witnessing of the slavery in Islam, even in the heaven. Allah will create for you endless number of women and boys, and they are going to be jailed in your house as sex to serve you, or to be slaves to serve you for eternity. Is that justice? Which one you like to be? You like to be one of those servants, if they are servants, or you like to be the master? What this boy he did to be a servant for eternity? Where is justice in this stupid religion? I will let you figure it out. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment. May the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian prince with you. And shame on you, Muhammad, to promote sexual urge for boys and children, even in your heaven. Disgusting.